Hey everybody, welcome back. Yes, it is all Corvette on this channel. And let me just tell you something. Me being just a regular guy to share my passion with you guys and through you guys here on the channel for Corvette, it's pretty cool. So thanks for taking the time to check back in. Man, we got a lot going on on the channel. Want to remind you about Sunday's show. I think you're going to enjoy the conversation. Jim comes back from the National Corvette Museum, brings his car by yesterday. It was a gorgeous day. Sun shows off that Accelerate Yellow exactly the way that we wanted to capture it when we were at Bowling Green earlier in the week. We're going to show you some great pictures, and we have a great conversation with Jim. He gives you comparables of the C7 Grand Sport to his 2020 mid-engine Corvette. We talk about competition seats and a little bit of a controversy conversation going on right now with 2021 Stingray and magnetic ride control. Jim gives you his feedback and a little bit more of his experience at the National Corvette Museum and the track across the street. Then on Saturday, yes, our Corvette daily vlogs continue, and we're going to talk about an option on the C8 mid-engine Corvette accessory option that nobody has talked about yet. Well, we did, I mean, many months ago in an accessory video, but I want to show it to you and show you how it's installed. Now, unless it actually gets here, it'll simply just be a short conversation on Saturday. Now, tomorrow on the channel, we're going to talk a little bit more in depth about the 1983 Corvette and why there was no Corvette for 1983 for retail sale. I think that's important to talk about that kind of stuff because many of you coming to the Corvette marketplace right now, yeah, you're digging the car right now, but I think it's important to know where we've come from to appreciate where we are right now. So watch for some more history type segments to come from time to time on the channel. All right, today for you guys, Ernie comes down to have his high wing spoiler installed on a Z51 2020 mid-engine Corvette. Now the spoiler holes are already drilled, but the install is not as easy as you think. We'll share a little bit of that with you guys, some more owner feedback, his driving experience so far in the car, and what he's about to do in his new mid-engine Corvette, actually take it on the track for the very first time. And in yesterday, I threw you a little curveball. Got another one for you today. Thanks for paying attention. Thanks for being here. Hope you enjoy the upload. Real vlogs, real people, real cars, real cool. That's right, that's what we're sharing with you guys right now. Ernie is here. I feel bad he had to drive what did you drive, like three, three, three and a half, half hours? hours. Yeah, you know, almost three hours. Uh, he's the guy we showed you early on, just briefly, you're gonna have a little bit more today, where he got a C8 car, Elkhart Lake Blue, red interior, I love that. But didn't have a high wing, but he did get the high wing. I know a lot of you did, and I apologize for that. So, uh, Chuck's put it on right now, we'll go over and check that out in a second. But here's Ernie, how you doing, man? Pretty good. We had a nice conversation, I just wanted to share some of the stuff with people. I, I, I'm doing the daily vlogs, and I want people to see the realism of what's going on currently in the corporate marketplace. So right. real quick, tell me, you got the C8, you got a long drive home, what was that experience like? It was fantastic, and I drove up and, and uh, on the freeway once I got up near Cleveland, yeah. I'd see cars slowing down, and I'd look over <laughs> and they're all taking a picture of me with their iPhone. <laughs> I love it, I love it, that's great. And, and thumbs up on the highway all the time, Yeah. and it's stoplights and everything. That's cool. And it's, it's amazing, sometimes it'll stoplight the car in front, that guy will actually open the door and lean out and <laughs> take a picture. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, you're going to get a lot of that. I mean, and that's what this car's generated. And you do a lot of performance driving. So you're just under the 1,500 miles right now. Well, Chuck's working on the car and you got a plan to go where next week? Yeah, mid Ohio. Okay. So I'll be there and we'll have over 1,500 miles. So I'm really looking forward to that. I, yeah. I go there like two or three times a year. Oh, man. It's a great trek. And I, I had a. Uh, C C7 before. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to the difference. This has got to be a lot quicker around the track. Right. No, so you really haven't gotten into it yet. You're past the break-in, so you got full torque right now. Right. But now you're really going to go crazy with it. So I'm really curious to get some feedback. Maybe if we don't get footage of you driving on the track, but maybe we'll get some PDR footage or something like that we can share. Yeah, uh, I could, yeah I've got the PDR. I can record oh, some. Oh, that, that right. would be awesome. But just driving the car from here back home to the Cleveland area, uh, how, how was your experience? What do, you, what do you think of the car? Just... It's a lot different handling now with the rear end, with the engine in the back of yeah. the engine, yeah. on curves and everything, you can tell sure. that. But it drives so smooth, and I got the magnetic shocks, which was really well worth it. Right. I also got the three-inch lift, so the guy that I uh, came down with me, yeah. we went back to Cleveland. I pulled in his driveway, hit the button, went up, it didn't scrape at all. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Sure is. Yeah. Now, you're a tall guy. You fit pretty well in the C8? Yep. I fit in good, and uh, you have more leg room in it, too. So I know that with my helmet, I'm going to fit in there pretty good. Yeah, I was curious if you're going to have enough room with the helmet and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to fit. I've, I've checked it out already. Yeah, all right, good. 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 It's going to be a lot of fun. Well, sure uh, as soon as Chuck gets done with the car, we'll uh, talk to you a little bit more. But uh, it's just nice to share the experiences. People that are waiting in anticipation want to hear from guys like you that actually have the car so they can hang in there 
and just like Jim said recently on a vlog, it's worth the wait. It is worth the wait, but it is a wait, so hang in there, and I appreciate you hanging. You waited along just like everybody else, too. A year ago. August, I ordered Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So that's good, man. It was well worth the wait. All right, good. Looking forward to seeing your high wing here in just a minute. Yep, thanks. There's Mr. Happy early in the morning, although I'm very happy right now. I haven't told you guys this yet. Psychologically, I'm only going to get my, my Corvette if I take that step and move forward. So I have entered a preliminary order for a 2021. I've also bought my first part and accessory for that car. And that's early spoiler coming off right now. It'll be in the garage until I can put everything together and all the stars line up and then I can get my car. You guys think a year or two is long waiting for a car? I'm 25 years in, man. And I've had many opportunities to buy cars. We've talked about that before in the channel and I passed because of other responsibilities at the house and the kids and just felt guilty about doing something for myself. And man, I miss the 1998 car I could have got. I still want to have that car, the Pace car. I regret not getting that car though because it came with the matching go-kart. Really can kick myself for that. Had the 2015 car that I actually ordered was gonna be for me. And then Roger called, hey, I'm looking for Shark Gray with Brownstone. I'm like, oh, that's... <laughs> it's like, yeah, yeah, I got one. Kind of ordered it for myself. He goes, yeah, well, can I buy it? I'm like, okay, so never wanted to put myself in front of a customer, so I sold that to him. There's a couple other ones along the way that I should have bought that I didn't and I regret. But I think it's time. Don't you think it's time, guys? Even though my schedule is going to be incredibly demanding right now, tons of hours, and that's what this car dictates. But for me, having one, and my goal, my goal was to actually have one here in the fall. Not step in front of anybody for 21, for 2020 rather, but for 21, get an early 21. But now that's all shifted as far as production and that kind of stuff. But really to have it as an enjoyment for myself and sharing with you guys, but really as a marketing tool to promote the car because we know for quite some time now, there's not gonna be a car on the lot for you to come in and sit in and drive. I wanted you to sit in my car, drive my car. Great tool. Yes, it'll be a write-off. <laughs> I've got to justify it somehow, but really, truly would be something to give you guys a chance to experience it rather than just standing around, looking at everybody else's car, hoping that one day you can sit in one, that you can drive one. So that was the other mindset behind me getting a car, and that will be the case once I do get my car. Um, so stay tuned. So it's kind of big news. I wanted to share that with you guys, and uh, I'm determined to make this happen. You know, I still got kids at home. I got a lot of stuff going on, but... 25 years waiting, yeah, it's time, man. It's time, and I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. So thank you so much for the support. One step closer, man, all right. And this is perfect because on my car, I wanted the black spoiler, but the mirrors, as we've talked about, have that black arm, but I wanted the bucket of the mirror to be the body color. So now, now I'll get that. Oh yeah, rapid blue, still doing rapid blue. I got to, man, it's just, that's me, wild, crazy, in your face, rah! <laughs> yeah, let's go, man. <laughs> let's go. You guys may remember back in March when these first came in, we had one that was not a Z51, and Chuck had to drill the holes. This is a Z51, so once you take that spoiler off, it'll be easy to put the high wing on, but he had to hold the, hold the rear bumper, and Nate was helping out, disconnecting lights and all that kind of stuff, so it really is a two-person job. It's not as easy as you guys think, and I know that we talked about this a long time ago, too. Chuck asked me, because we were waiting on accessories, uh, center caps, engine cover, and high wing spoiler. Chuck said, well, because what do you want me to do? I'm going to prep this car. Uh, Ernie's going to take it before the stuff came in. He says, you want me to leave the center caps off? I said, well, no, I can't have the hot new C8 and have him driving around with no center caps on. Chuck says, well, you know, I got to take the wheels off to put the new ones on. I said, yeah, I know. So uh, looks like you took the wheels off. You got those on already? Yeah, I had to. Yeah, I know. Okay, so they're on. What do you get? I forget what he got. You get the Stingray ones? Oh, here they are right here. Oh, no, he got the Jake ones. Yeah, I should have known better. And the engine cover, I think, is on, which looks nice. Goes great with the red interior. Ernie does have the engine appearance package. After a certain amount of time, the thing is open, that'll shut the lights off automatically. That's why they're not on right now. And they only go on. I know you guys want them on when you're driving in the car, but uh, that'll give you a glare back into that window. So they come on when you hit the unlock button as you approach the vehicle and look kind of cool. But I've seen a lot of aftermarket guys 
put in your custom light packages and custom colors and stuff like that's cool, but be careful of the glare off that back window. Hi, this is Anthony from New Jersey, and you're watching Rick Conti's Corvette vlog. Now comes the fun part. What's that? Trying to get this double-sided rear spoiler off without damaging the paint. Oh, because it's not just screwed on. No. It's screwed and double-sided tape, so it's not really the front part. Uh, no, I certainly don't want him to mess up Ernie's car or my spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> Ernie, thanks for selling me the spoiler too, man. I appreciate that. That's really cool because I said, what are you going to do with the spoiler? He goes, I don't, I don't know. And I said, well, I'll buy it from you. Again, psychologically, if I have that, one step closer that I'm going to make my car happen with you guys because of you guys. I thank you so much. Last time Chuck but Chuck's done this a few times already. You've done a couple of these, haven't you? Yeah. Chuck just said that he was impressed with something that GM did over here in the corner. What is that, bro? Both corners. Both corners? Yeah, they put screws in here instead of just having it clipped so you can line this body piece up and then screw it tight. Yeah. So there's no movement. Gives you a better body line. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, Ernie, show the people what I, what I got you there. Little die cast matches your car there. Oh, let's see that blue die yep. cast. Yeah, yep. Rick gave me this one. <laughs> matches it. Look at that. In my office. Matches that. Just doesn't have the high wing. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right. Got the new high wing on here. Yeah. The uh, the high wing was on constraint for the die cast. So <laughs> I'm used to that. Oh, Look at the engine cover out here to the side. Oh, oh looks... yeah. That looks a lot better in there. Wow. Yeah. The uh, the regular uh, engine cover and your uh, center caps are in the box, in the box. on the on the floorboard and the passenger side. So, yeah, you're ready to go. That looks good, man. Gonna have fun at the track, yep, and that's I gonna sure be am. useful, man. Yeah, well, be yeah. careful and uh, get us some PDR footage. You can send me the card. I'll send it back to you so we can share it on the channel and just uh, let me let me know what you think. Sounds man. like plan. I appreciate good. it, man. Good to see <laughs> right. you, Ernie. Thank thanks you so much for the support, buddy. Yeah, really you. appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. You're not ready the to pads, go. I, I talked to them out in a Spring Mountain. They said. The Z51 pads are okay. You're fine for what you're going to do. it's got a new thing and it'll light up on the dash. It'll say, brakes hot, slow down. Ah, good. He, he sent me the email. On oh, it. good. Cool. Good. Yeah, so you're ready to rock, man. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, have fun, man. Yeah, thanks. Appreciate it. Good to see you again. Sorry you had to drive all the way back down. I'm just glad yeah. we were able to get the spoiler for you. That's all right. All, out great. all right. Take it easy, Ernie. Thanks, man. Thanks, Rick. All right, sir. All right, why not? A little send off. Heck yeah, and rub that highway. <laughs> Thanks, Ernie. Hey, look at this perfect timing, guys. I'm standing out. Ernie just literally pulled out. Look what's pulling in right there. Now, what I'll share with you guys on that truck is going to be our first set of competition sports seats that are going to Bobby in Texas. I'll give you a little more feedback on that. You pretty much know how I feel about those comp seats, but I want to show them to you up close and why I say what I say, that I don't think that they're going to fit everybody as they used to in C7.